Fraven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. It's all for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! Is this your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. <laughs> should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you could eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sought fear and his trust. But he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable. In the trees. Before he springs a trap. I can smell your fear. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test to see how strong you could be. You could stomach the spilling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I study you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Death, you fight ghosts. Come get me, boy. I get as angry as you. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. You flail around like a drunken sailor. Always one step behind. Hard to spot him in those trees, but I have to try. You've been a poor sport. saying death isn't defeat? 
You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system. And I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building. But you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. <laughs>